uh, the question is kind of a process slash um, system setup question about how do I write off specific lines for time if you don't want them to show through to the customer. Uh, and in this example, we're not using a pro forma invoice and it's TNM related. So I went and created uh, some time against a TNM project to be built and I disabled the pro forma step. So we're not going to be taking that step here. And so when I run this, it'll generate my lines for those time entries and pop them here. All right. So I see this as you have a couple different options of how you can handle it. You have the option of doing a discount code, uh, manually putting in a discount for that line. Both of those could be an option for getting rid of the amount from your total uh, and then making an edit to the actual report designer report that you print. So you can tell it, hey, if this box is checked or this discount code is used, do not print that line. Not terribly difficult to do, it's an option. The other option would be to find the line that you want disc or that you want to write off and you don't wanna deal with uh, it printing for the customer. Uh, and you can delete that line and leave the ones that you want and then save it. And then when you release it, it'll obviously, uh, you can print the invoice, it'll print as standard with this one line to the point of the question, what do we do with that remaining line? Well, with that invoice still intact, if I run billing again, as mentioned, it will pop into that next billing you run. Uh, and I'm running on demand, so it's generating whatever is out there. And this is the only one remaining. You could then potentially put this at zero somehow. You could either discount it, however you wanna handle that and then you can release it and you'll never send it to the customer. And that will get it out of the cycle of rebilling that time entry. And let's go ahead and just delete this one just to show what we're talking about here on the cost budget, the transactions. This is the reason it does keep popping up when you delete it. And it was mentioned in the question, you've got billable and not billed. So that's the problem when it runs billing and it puts it into the revenue side, it checks that box, you delete it out, it unchecks that box. So it makes sure you get billed what you need to. But in this case, we want to credit that time. So that's one of the ways we could handle it.